On this episode of The Sequence, I will show you how to arrange your beats inside of the MPC beat software. The Sequence. What is going on people? So every single time I do a video like this, everybody has a question about it. So I, hopefully I will cover it in this video. If you have any comments, please leave them below in the comment section and I will get to them as soon as possible. But yeah, we're gonna arrange a track inside of the MPC beat software. So if you have the MPC software, it works exactly the same. So that's the great thing about the MPC beat software. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna show you two different ways. I'm gonna go ahead and play the example track. Let's go ahead and do that. Hey. Yeah, I, I was feeling like Smooth McCree that day. Smooth McCree. I actually have a video on that too as well. But let's get into it. Sequences. This is very important. So if you are an FL Studio head and you really like the patterns, the different patterns that you uh, use inside of the playlist, that's exactly how you would use the sequences. And the same could be said about if you use the clips in the clip screen, uh, that's the same way you would look at the sequences inside of the MPCB software or the MPC software. So you hear I have this whole sequence here, which involves different parts. So if I was to go over here, this is gonna take me to the track mutes. And this is what I want to show you guys. So uh, you can actually uh, stop all these tracks Yeah, you just hear that, the chorus. Uh-huh. And the reason why I wanted to show you that is because we're gonna utilize uh, doing those different parts right here, like using the track muse. So now let's go ahead and venture off into uh, these different sequences here and get into the, the nick grid of this. So. What I'm going to do here is go over here to these three little lines, which is going to bring up files and edit mode and all that stuff. And we're going to go right into our sequences over here and we're going to copy the sequence uh, a whole bunch of times. So I'm going to go ahead and make a number two sequence and we're going to name it. I'm going to name it um, like verse. Okay. And hit do it. And now we have another one. Uh, now we're going to go over here back into it, we're gonna repeat this a couple of times. We want the sequence here. And we're going to copy sequence again. So even though this one says verse, we're gonna go ahead and do bridge and do it again. Next thing we're gonna do is copy the sequence again. Surprise, surprise. Uh, now we're gonna make a hook part. We're gonna make, uh, since this is a four bar, I believe, I'm gonna make that into two different four bars, okay? So let's copy sequence. I'll name it hook one. And then next we're gonna do another one. And we're gonna name it hook two. So copy sequence. I'll we'll just put a two on this one. So now we have a verse, hook, hook two, and I'm gonna do Another one, uh, I'm gonna make, I probably will make this one, uh, make number one, the intro. All right, so let's go ahead and rename the sequence into intro. Boom. Now, let's go back into your track mutes over here. Uh, you don't necessarily need a MIDI controller uh, for this. I just like the MPK uh, Mini Mark II. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute all of what I want for the intro. So I like that. Uh, I'm gonna keep that simple. All right, so let's navigate to the verse part and let's go ahead and hear the verse part of this sequence. That's too much for me. So what I'm gonna do is uh, use the track mute. We're in the track mute screen, okay? It's up here, top right of the screen. This is the track mute button right here, control zero. Uh, so uh, what I'm gonna do is just mute certain parts here. And what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna double the length of the verse because I'm gonna go ahead and use this as like a breakdown of some sorts. And what I'm gonna do 
is uh, double the length. I'm gonna double the length. You don't have to do this, but this is something I, I like to do and show you on this one. This is very nifty, it's very easy to get stuff done. And now we have an eight bar uh, verse part and we got a four bar bridge. So that's on par with 12. So let's go ahead and hear that. So that's nice and dry, cool, but let's press Shift R and record some track music in here. And you'll see where I'm coming from uh, once I do this. So uh, we're gonna press Shift R, make sure you press Shift R so you can overdub and make sure that you have the loop turned off too as well and you'll see why in a second. Uh-huh, let's go. Mm-hmm. And now you can just press shift R and you're good to go. All right, so that's cool. That's cool the way it is. You can leave loop off. And if I was to play that back and you see these little red signs over here, that means that, you know, that's where the track mutes were at. And if you mess up at any time, you can just press control Z and undo everything that you did, okay? So I'll just play it back. Yeah, everything is cool. So we're gonna move on here. We're gonna go to the bridge. And we're gonna decide what we're gonna do with the bridge here. We're gonna listen to it. All right, I like that. So I'm gonna roll with that. I just take out the uh, chords for that part uh, for the bridge. And now let's go to the hook. And obviously we're gonna want uh, a lot of elements into the hook because that's it's the hook, right? So I'm probably just gonna do away with the bass synth. All right, I just do that for the hook here. And now we'll just go to hook two and make sure that all the elements are on, good. A lot of stuff, I know. So for the next part, we're going to set up uh, everything else here. And that's where I'm going to show you how to sequence in song mode. So boom, we're in song mode now. This is very interesting because all you have to do is just drag and drop everything that you just did, boom. So we have the intro now. Uh, now we have the verse. We have the verse here, that's uh, eight, eight bars. It says 10 bars for some reason. Uh, I can trim it down. I believe to eight bars. All right, let's go over here and uh, trim that uh, verse down to eight bars. So there we go, eight bars. That won't be so troublesome. Boom. Now we have eight bars again. And okay, now go over here and grab that bridge. Then hook one, hook two, then a chorus verse again, and then bridge, hook one, hook two. And then we're going to ride on out with the verse again. Like that's going to be a whole entire track. So let's hear it. You can see everything in here. And you can still adjust like all of the sequences 
just in case like, you know, it might be a little too slow or fast. You can adjust the BPM and stuff like that. Of course, uh, one thing I want to, one thing I do want to point out, if you adjust a sequence BPM, it, the other BPMs will stay the same. So just make sure that you adjust all the sequences all at once here. Also, if you hit sequence over here, it will set a master sequ sequence BPM, but it doesn't affect the song. So be careful about that. Uh, just set the BPMs for all of them as much as humanly possible, okay? Uh, now, for the alternative way of setting up a sequence. Now, all you have to do, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go hook to, uh, hook to right here, since that has all the elements here. Uh, four bars, I'm gonna go over here to edit again, sequence, and then we're gonna go into copy sequence. And now we're gonna name this one full, or full song. Okay, full song. It's not gonna be into your song mode, but it'd be something that you'll be able to listen to. Now, we have all of our elements back. We all have our elements back in there again, and we can go over here and to edit again, sequences, double length. Now it's eight bars. We're gonna have to do it again. Uh, it's quite tedious, of course. Uh, that is one thing. Uh, there's no shortcut for that. So it's 16 bars now. Now it's gonna be 32 if I do it again and double length, and then do it again. <laughs> and then we we'll go over here to sequence. My head is hurting, but boom. Now we did, we got that. It's good to go. 64 bars of stuff to play with. Now we're gonna venture off into track muse. Remember that I was showing you a different way already of how you can add in different track mutes and stuff like that. Uh, there is ways where you can set up track groups. So uh, you can group everything together that you want and then have the different track mutes that way. Uh, I'm not really good with that. Um, there's a video I will link you to in the description box where Andy Mack shows you how to do that. What I'm gonna do is just track mutes live. So I'm just gonna do them live while I'm recording it in. And of course you have to hit Shift and R so you're doing overdub overdub and now we're going to uh, record the stuff in there of course i'm going to start with the main element off uh, everything off except for the chords So tell me how you feel about this video. Track arrangements, yeah, it's really easy. It's really easy to do. Uh, I really like both techniques, but I like the song mode. I really do like the song mode for what it is, especially in the MPC beat software, MPC software, because you can just drag and drop your stuff over. For some reason on the hardware, it's a little difficult for me for some reason, because I guess, I don't know, I'm a knucklehead, but yeah, just let me know because everything translates into the MPC hardware and the software exactly the same. And that's the kind of the joy that I get out of using the software.